So my name is Sam Hun, and I supervise the uh, response team in central and eastern Washington. Our main spill responses out here would be truck wrecks with uh, diesel or other fuels uh, being released to pavement, the roadway, the shoulder, maybe water impacts, and also drug labs. Back in the heyday of meth labs, back in like the late 90s, the state legislature mandated that ecology would be responsible for the cleanup of drug labs to include like uh, removal of hazmats, that kind of thing. We go in there with law enforcement and we help them identify what hazards they might need to look out for while they're working the site. And then we pick up any wastes that could impact either human health or the environment if we were to leave them there. I've been with Spill Response over a decade now, it's hard to believe. It's always changing, it's always evolving, it always feels like it's something new. I'd say probably the biggest thing I love about it is the community, the response community, both inside ecology and outside ecology. These are people that generally want to get out there and, and you know, make a difference. They want to have a positive impact and they have kind of a, a go-getter attitude. So getting to work in that community is, it's a joy, it's a lot of fun and it keeps you motivated. I think the biggest hazards would be working on the side of the road at a truck wreck. People often think it's going to be something like uh, working with a toxic chemical and you know we're, we're suited up and we got gas masks on and that kind of thing. But when you're confident in your equipment and your training, um, then you're, you're confident working in those environments and you can mitigate that risk. You can't mitigate what other people are doing on the roadway. Probably one of the most formative responses for me in my career, um, as well as personally, was the Oso landslide. It was a story about human tragedy as well as the environment and being able to go there and help provide benefit to, to both. It was heavy and it was incredibly rewarding at the same time. Knowing that members from the community have been out there, members of, of fire response, the police, um, you know, National Guard, all these different entities were, were out there working in that muck and we had the opportunity to help and collect the hazmats and get that stuff out of there to help reduce exposure to that stuff for the community and first responders. That really impacted me from the standpoint of, of reinforcing the importance of what we do.